we don't know the difference. So if you could kind of explain to people at home what the difference is between an SST drive and the old school magnetic drive. From the very beginning, uh, they've always used hard disks, whether it be a removable hard disk, like those old five, uh, those little huge little floppy disks. Mm -hmm. uh, they moved to a hard drive, which is a magnetic design. And uh, the inherent flaw with magnetic design is it has a lot of moving parts in the hard drive. And essentially what I've done is I've grabbed a hard drive out of a computer and I have it right here in front of you. And uh, you see what it's made up of. Inside of this, there's actually like a record, it's like a record player almost. And inside that record player, it's a magnetic disc that spins around. And uh, there's an arm that travels over that record player and accesses data, you know, based on where, where it's placed. The SSD drive uh, actually is done using circuitry. Uh, they use circuits inside of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we use Samsung specifically. Uh, we use the 850 Evo, which is uh, the number one drive out there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a different design because it's it's more of like a thumb drive that you plug into your computer that has everything is in the memory of that. There's no arm that moves, there's no magnetic disc that moves around. Uh, it's, it's done so much faster and it's, it's spur of the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, you click on something, it's right there. Uh, it's the immediacy of it. Uh, typically, uh, a PC with a magnetic drive in it will usually take roughly from one to even 10 minutes, you know, based on all of your applications loading up when you start the computer. Um, there's a lot of things that are running usually that are on the, on the system tray. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time at all for SSDs. That's really the surprising part about them. And uh, that's one of the reasons why the industry is moving towards that direction is uh, people don't like to wait around. So This is in simplified terms. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really look like this. However, uh, magnetic hard drives use what's called a, a data table. And uh, within that table is almost like a grid. Now in that grid, um, it's basically taking the information and placing it on here. So we'll use uh, these screws here as an example of what it's what it's like usually. Okay. So you, what would those screws represent, right? This there? would represent like Microsoft Windows. Or I'm sorry, uh, Microsoft Office. Okay. Which would be, you know, Microsoft Word, mm -hmm. Excel. Now you place that onto your hard drive. It saves that information. Anything you save, you know, save data would be in another table. Uh, you'd have uh, processes from the computer that would be in another table. Mm -hmm. All these things are make up what a magnetic hard drive is. And in a perfect world. These little grids have all the software and processes that a computer uses, all within these grids, lined up in perfect symmetry, mm -hmm. like so. Okay, and what happens when one of those spaces becomes like corrupt? Okay, or well, I don't know if it's really a corruption. What causes corruptions is actually taking things out of the computer. Let's just say uh, you, know, you did an update and you went and reversed it. Okay, the hard drive is, it's not, it's, it's been around quite a while and the, the conventions that it uses, it only, it's a very dumb device and it uses these, these grids to place the information on. Once you take something off of there, what you're going to get is fragmentation. So you're going to get an empty spot in that grid. And then let's just say you take Office out of here, you get that in one grid. And you take another piece of software out of here that maybe your kid downloaded, mm -hmm. vice versa, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what happens now at, at this point is your disk becomes fragmented. Now. What happens is that arm comes across here in this table. In a perfect world, it would move right across. All these things would be filled in. However, that's not the case once you start taking things away. It stops at this grid right here. At it this just little hangs table. on It just there. hangs on for a couple of milliseconds. Then it moves on to the next one. And it hangs again, hangs again. Now, what, what goes from milliseconds turns into seconds and minutes when you have thousands of them on your mm -hmm. hard drive. Mm -hmm. It stops. It's almost like a delay. So that's what you're experiencing when you see a hard drive and that circle going around. I know everybody knows it, the little uh, the hourglass with the sand dropping in it. It's the most, annoying, it's the most annoying thing of course, ever. Of course, We pride ourselves on fast service. So uh, typically you bring it in before two o'clock, we'll have it done the next day, if not the day after that. But usually it's a very, very short turnaround. Because essentially what we're doing is we're taking your hard drive that exists in your computer and we're going to clone that data over to the new SSD drive. So I don't lose my data. Exactly. Okay. So you have all your pictures saved on there, mm -hmm. everything. We clone it over to the new drive, and then we put it inside your... It's, it's very transparent. Uh, you won't see the difference. It'll look exactly the same. However, it'll be much, much faster. Okay. If your uh, old 2011 laptop is uh, giving you problems, to, uh, taking a long time to start up, it has viral, whatever's wrong with it, bring it to PC Garage, and uh, they'll put an SSD drive in it. Well, that's the whole point. And it'll uh, hum. And again, take the old computer. You can have a computer from 2009. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. You give it new life. You breathe new life into the computer by adding an SSD. Wow. And, uh, you know, these things have a five-year warranty on them, you know, from the factory, from Samsung. It also has a 10-year life expectancy. A regular hard drive has a three- to four-year life expectancy on it. Excellent. So. Thanks a lot. All right, great. Thank you.